Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Asif and I try and explore new technologies. Today we'll be looking at Apache NiFi, which is an open source um, project and allows us to create data flows for data pipelines. It's a great project and I've been developing some uh, use cases. The one that we're going to look at today is uh, where you have incoming stream of data that includes credit card numbers and they can be from multiple types Visa or American Express discover MasterCard and we are checking based on the the number we are we are checking whether it's a Visa is a MasterCard and then making some decision to modify this further or to enhance this this project we would also like to apply apply the loan LUHN algorithm which will also validate if the credit card is correct so let's get started um, how NIFI works is you have primarily two concepts one is a, a processor which is um, shown here in this rectangle box as an example get file is a processor and the other concept is a data flow a flow file a file that moves between these processes so um, get file as the name suggests I'm picking up a file from a local directory the file that I'm going to process if I open up the configuration you can see that I'm looking at a local directory and I have uh, right now there's just one file one test file so the regular expression allows me to pick that up that is all I'm doing with this get file it picks it up if it's successful it's going to put this into a queue which is labeled success the next processor is split te split text which will allow me to break the incoming file into lines which is what I want if you open up uh, the split text processor we notice that we've set it to one which means that the incoming data will be broken up into single lines and again if successful it will be put into this queue now the route text is really important this is doing the majority of the work here so incoming data as it comes we have some regex expressions regular expressions which will allow us to scan that number and then decide whether it's uh, what type of credit card number it is or credit card issuer it is so if I go into configuration you notice uh, that one I've s selected matching or matches regular expression secondly for Amex I have this regular expression and for Visa I have another so these are these can be if you just google this these are standard that every financial institution will use or every issuer will use um, they have certain conditions you just plug that uh, regex in and it should work let me show you an example uh, if I go to an online regex uh, I have this MX card if I just plug in the the number one of the numbers and I have the matching regex for it you can see that it matches correctly and let's, let's go back to NiFi and um, so it routes and I have these you can call these uh, queues the visa queue and the MX queue and as I add a discover card or a MasterCard, they will expand like this and you'll have um, a, a separate queue for each once that is processed we will see that these will start to fill up and uh, these are actually log attributes that they will start logging which is an important uh, concept here so you would like to preferably end with log attribute so it, it is logging all your activity so let's get started I have that file already uh, let me see if I can quickly open it up and show you what I have so I have uh, about 200 credit cards I used an online uh, credit card generator so it just generates randomly and none of them uh, are really in use they are just some some random uh, credit card numbers but I'm just using them for test purposes okay so it's gonna pick up this file and like I said it's going to process them and then determine whether it's an Amex card or a Visa card 
right now f just for the benefit of this uh, tutorial I'm just using two different card types okay so let's get started um, so everything's set up all I need to do is go here do a start and you can see it, it starts to load up and let me do a refresh a few times and one more time and let me just stop it and uh, if you notice you have the Amex card and you have the visa they've all been processed uh, let's take a look at visa which is I can go to the list queue and if I just select one of them it'll show that it picked up the visa card correctly and also the other visa card and if I just click here it can show me the attribute so you can see that it was able to route based on the attribute which was visa okay so let's close this and let, let's uh, restart it so it can pick it up and you can see some more data coming in I just want to stop when both queues are full to show you that uh, we are able to process both MX as well as Visa okay so let me stop here so you can see that um, after a while uh, you have about 307 incoming here 300 here so it has uh, the route text is working correctly and we are successfully routing you can see the queues are zero that means that um, it is processed correctly and uh, the queues are being emptied out so thank you very much for watching and uh, I will continue to create more use cases and add them to my YouTube channel thank you for watching